Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's Friday the 19th. I got the date wrong last week. I should have checked, but I was driving, so I couldn't. Um, Friday the 19th of June. It's quarter past five. It's raining again. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a funny old week again. The weather's been a bit... Back to its old tricks of being miserable. Um, pleased to say the foot is a lot better. Now, I'm not quite sure uh, what exactly it was, to be honest. Because um, it just mysteriously solved itself by Monday. Um, so, I'm not sure, but um, it's better now, so yay. Uh, <laughs> So last weekend, though, because of foot pain, I uh, I didn't do any work. No painting or anything was done. I uh, just stayed at home uh, and did a few bits around the house, and that was about it, really. Just relaxed weekend. Not doing very much. Um, so that was all right. And then back to work Monday. Been, um, yeah, it's been pretty busy again really um, definitely seeing more of our established previous customers who are uh, who are coming back again um, so that's good and like I say it's new different people coming back all the time um, and we're starting to see a bit more of the range of products as opposed to just my roasted coffee all the time. Um, filter coffee is coming back in, which is, uh, I've got loads of that in stock because we always had a good rolling stock because it was a popular line. And then, uh, of course, when everywhere shut down uh, because of coronavirus, that was it. It just completely, filter coffee sales went, disappeared. Um, but we've had a, quite a few sales this week for those so obviously places are getting back into the swing of things and start using it up so that's good um, other than that um, big day Tuesday with the new big batch roaster um, six full batches um, well not full batches but certainly uh, nice big loads anyway um, I did about 130 kilos over 60 batches, which is a lot of coffee, really. So, um, yeah, that was good as well. And, uh, Quite a large chunk of that has already disappeared back out again on orders, so that's even better. Um, other than that, it's been a pretty, I don't know, I've been pretty busy with Hive actually, uh, of an evening. For some reason I've managed to end up posting pretty much every night this week. Um, not really sure how that ends up happening, but who knows. Um, so we'll have a bit more of an update on that. It was nice and sunny, I think, on Wednesday. Maybe Tuesday and Wednesday. We had a bit of decent weather. It was actually nice enough to sit out in the garden when I got home. But now it's gone all a bit murky and miserable again. So um, I must remember when I go in the petrol station, I need to dig up Miss Nellis's words of wisdom and email them myself because I didn't do that while I was at work. Do, do, do. Oh, I swear. Yeah. Oh, my boxes are just flooded to the front of the car. <laughs> right, so um, I'll head in, do my nice words of wisdom, and then um, we can head off for the last bit. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back from uh, dropping off the parcels. In, in my extremely hot mask, it gets really hot in this thing. Uh, especially when you're lugging parcels back and forth. So 
So anyway, and as you can probably can't hear me very well, we can take this off now we're in the car. Uh, and away from all the nasty germs. So, let's do Mr. Norris's words of wisdom and then we can go home. Uh, so, Mr. Norris says things to talk about on your blog, the deaths of Vera Lynn and Bob the Street Cat. While two bastions of UK culture there, <laughs> Richard. My mum, as she is coming to my house as a socially distant visit in my garden, well, I hope it's not raining when that happens. Uh, me, as I've been to Pugney's Country Park on Monday afternoon. Oh, that sounds fun, actually. I wonder where Pugney's Park is. Um, let's see. Oh, oh. There's definitely a lot more traffic coming about than there was previously on lockdown. It's been getting a lot harder again to get out of here on a night. Uh, and you've got some especially speedy people coming down. They don't particularly like slowing down when they see you planning on pulling out. In fact, some of them just like speeding up. They can see you're going to pull out, and they're like, I'm going to go faster. And if you pull out, I'm going to go right up the back end of your car. A bit like this Peugeot that's behind me. Well, there you go. Oh, and yes, it even parked up right close behind smooth uphill motion that was so um yeah I say work's been flowing along nicely um just need to uh I don't know we still could kind of do I mean we've been getting rid of more disposables which is good but we've got such a big stockpile of them and everyone should be doing takeouts I'm kind of hoping we're going to see more people sort of coming back and uh, buy a disposable cup, Ugh. especially the biodegradable ones, you know, everyone's supposed to be dead into biodegradable. Oh, funny enough, talking about that, my compostable 500 gram coffee bags, um, I've now had to change because they kept, well, they didn't always, but I got a significant number of people were getting burst bags um, when they received the packages, which um, is partly due probably to rough handling by the shipping people, especially Hermes, um, and the sort of the, the postal size boxes I get that are the right size for one and two kilos aren't exactly the world's strongest box. So if you put something on he heavy on top of it, it just like crumples flat in an instant and whatever's inside gets squashed. So it seems if there's a bit of air in the, the coffee bags and then it gets squashed flat like that, they pop dead easy. Um, so of course people receiving bags with beans all over the place and whatever else aren't too happy. So then you're going to refund or replace them, which is all expense again. So. So wait, I've gone for a, a plastic recyclable, recyclable for plastic, so it can go in with the normal plastic bottles recycling, just to see if they're gonna be a little bit more stronger um, than the paper version, the compostable paper. So, um, I've got to admit, they feel quite thin and flimsy, um, but the test's gonna be seeing how after a few weeks of them going out, if they uh, if they survive or not. Um, so yeah, that's been interesting. I'm gonna still well, still puzzling about trying to work out some sort of bag theme for the whole range of sizes uh, and branding that up. But that's kind of taking a long time because there's lots of other things to do and can't do all of them at once because my brain doesn't quite handle all of those things. So, um, that is a work in progress, that's a good way to put it, work in progress. So, um, hi blockchain, yeah I've been really quite busy, um, got my full fat node up and running, um, just going to have to work on the... Warning, K-band radar check speed. Hive mind instance next. Um, need to set up a server for that, and 
by the looks of it, because at the moment you kind of need to have two separate servers, one for the fat node and one for the um, account history. But with some changes that are going to be for HF24, it looks like you probably won't need to separate those up. There'll be enough capability to run the account history only, um, and then Hive Mine will cover all the other bits and pieces. So that'll be quite well. It'd be good for me anyway, because I, I would only picked on getting one server. So I was trying to juggle servers and see if I could move stuff around, but. If that happens, then that'll be um, kind of convenient. So I just need to get this hive mind bit sorted out next, which uh, we'll see about. Um, so oh, brain just completely fogged then. <clears throat> else was I thinking about? Hive generally, yes. Yeah. So I've been posting every day, that was it. I knew it was something there. It was lurking. Um, we have general bits and pieces. Had a go at creating a, a new viral tag. Don't think it's particularly taken off, but there you are. I tried. But I mean, to be fair, I'm a bit early really, because I did hashtag 2020 memories. Um, so it's probably going to be more relevant in 2021. <laughs> But I thought if I get in early, then there's no point waiting because someone else will get in before you, won't they? Uh, so, I uh, I thought I'm going to get in this early with this tag and then see if I can make it uh, spread about a bit. And it's got the plenty of time to be worked on, hasn't it? So. Hashtag 2020 memories. Um, Team UK is running well, so all my services like Team UK support uh, and anything really that requires connecting to a node is of course now using my own node. Um, I'm uh, not officially announcing it or making it public or whatever else until um, I get the hive mind portion sorted out because I'm kind of using um, another one at the moment so that's not technically like you, you, you're providing a full service because you're borrowing another bit of another node so um, but eventually I'm going to get all that sorted out um, just waiting on sorting this server out or fudgeting around <laughs> Maybe with some ideas. Goodness me. Cars everywhere. So all that's kind of exciting, all that server meddling and messing. Um, admit that the setting up it seems to be a trouble I have with a lot of server things is there's a load of information about what you need to do to install it and make it run. And it's never quite enough information. It's just about enough to get you almost there, but never all the way there, or it never actually completes what you want to do or whatever you're supposed to be doing. Kind of builds so far, then stops working because it's got a dependency you don't have, and then you have to start looking up and installing various extra bits that no one told you you needed it in the first place. Uh, so yes, the Jussie thing was particularly annoying. That just refused to build multiple times. Uh, I ended up switching to different servers to try and build it, just to see if I could get it going. Uh, and in the end, I then also managed to Google various bits of information and found out that you needed to change some settings in one file and that would let it complete. So. Uh, got there in the end, but it just took far longer than you anticipate because you sort of think, oh, well, just follow these instructions and it'll work. Uh, and then you follow the instructions and it just doesn't build. And then you're like, why? And then you have to meddle about with things and change things and install more things and whatever else. So, <clears throat> uh, there's a big uh, 
sack of topsoil in the garden still. I'm waiting for drier, sunnier climes to be moved. It's supposed to be quite warm this weekend. Oh, I think it's grass. Some grasses it was picking up on. So, that's me done. Um, I'll make sure I stop just before the bag so I can get out of the car. Um, so have a good week, uh, weekend and week next week, and I'll catch you in next week's coffee vlog. Okay, see you.